The scripture reading is from uh, chapter 13 of 1 Corinthians. I will read selections. If I speak in tongues of mortals and angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. I lo love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, and hopes all things. And, <clears throat> and now uh, faith, hope, and love, but the most important and greatest is love. This is uh, about the third time I've done something like this in all my years of ministry. And uh, I recall one when I was a boy preacher a hundred years ago that uh, this couple came, I married them, and I asked them if they'd ever been married before, and they said two other times. And I thought, oh my goodness. <laughs> they said we're getting married in every state so that was the third state that they got married <laughs> dearly beloved we're gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony which is an honorable estate instituted by God and signifying the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church. Which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee is therefore not being in two hundred fives of it, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, Ron and Adana come now to renew their vows. And I require and charge both as you stand in the presence of God before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to the other. 
Ron, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live. I will again. <laughs> the Donna, will you have this man be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him? So long as you both shall live. I will. She always has and she always will. Join right hands. Join your hands if you would now and face one another. And Ron, you repeat after me. I, Ron, take thee to the dawn. I, Ron, take thee to the dawn. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. Home. From this day forward, day forward, for better for worse, better for worse, for richer for poor, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, and health. to love and to cherish, love and cherish, till death us do part, till death to us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I pledge thee my faith, and thereto I pledge thee my faith. But don't you repeat after me? I let Donna take thee wrong. I let Donna take thee wrong. Be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I pledge him with faith. And that's your testimony. For as much as Ron and Madonna have come before this company and exchanged the vows that they probably took many years ago, 29 years ago, they have shown a desire to repeat those vows, and I'm glad they did because it means so much to all of us. So since they have repeated those vows, I now pronounce that they're the husband and wife that shall, shall spend the rest of their life together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. And I guess at this point I say you may kiss your wife. <laughs>